welcome back to the South everyone. We're about to catch a beautiful sunset. It's so nice. I'm gonna throw in some nice footage of the area because it's really nice. But today, quick video, five reasons why you're feeling stuck. I'm gonna get straight to the point. I know a lot of you are probably impatient like myself. Reason number one is your habits are not prioritized. I'm speaking from experience with all of these and one of the reasons why you might be feeling stuck is because you haven't really sat down and thought about what, what habits you know you need to replace sleeping late for example going out every weekend spending money every day on shit you don't need uh spending too much money on clothes going out with people that don't serve you and i don't mean serve like in a servant type of way i mean serve in a you know, you know benefit you for the better if you want to actually feel like you're moving forward in life then you must fix your habits that is reason number one reason number two the five people you spend the most time with i'm lucky to be surrounded by a group of fucking awesome people they're dope ass barbers too and i spend five to six days out of the week with them and they help me move forward in life too. The five people you spend the most time with, that's one of the most important ones because we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So, you know, if you have four really good people that just push you forward and you have that one bad seed, not the good kind of bad seed, but a bad seed that's just weighing everybody down, you have to understand that that actually makes a huge difference. So, you know, pay attention to that. Pay attention and be aware of the five people you're spending the most time with, whether that's at home, whether that's at work. And of course, by default, you have to pay attention to where you're spending most of your time. And that is gonna be my segue into reason number three, and that's your environment. Your environment plays a huge role in the way you feel about your life and your motivation, your levels of energy, your drive. If you're spending your time in a place where you're not happy and you're not fulfilled and you're not doing what you love enough, then you're definitely not gonna be feeling like getting shit done. You're gonna be feeling a lot more down in the dumps. You're gonna be feeling sorry for yourself. You're gonna be wondering what you're doing wrong. And that's the whole purpose of this quick little video is that I just want you all to understand that these five reasons, they're really powerful. And I really hope that whoever's listening out there, whoever's watching, you know, really sit down and ask yourself these questions. Look at these five reasons, analyze them in your life, you know, apply them, write it down. Ed and I journal a lot of the things we do, but anyway, that's gonna be my segue into reason number four. Reason number four is doing more of what you love, which I was just talking about. If you're trying to, you know, grind your life away and just trying to get work done, you know, that's good. But if you're not actually enjoying it, then you're definitely gonna burn out. And I've experienced that myself, even with this, you good? Yeah, I'm good, sorry. I actually experienced this myself when I was uh, getting started with this podcast and YouTube thing. Actually, not the YouTube thing. I actually really enjoy this. But when I started the podcast thing, I, I started getting overwhelmed because I feel like I was focusing way too much on making sure it got done and making sure people had something to listen to. But I, I didn't allow myself to have some free time to spend with the people, you know, people I enjoy or even doing things I enjoy. Like, for example, playing video games. I enjoy playing video games, but I went and sold my PS4 because I was like, you know what? This is holding me back. Not, not that that's a bad thing, but there just needs to be balance. And only you are going to know where that balance lies in your life. Work hard, but reward yourself and don't make yourself feel like you have to absolutely just grind away at everything. The last reason, reason number five, is the most important and I left it for the end because this is kind of scary. I'm back on the scary bridge. Reason number five is being confident and believing in yourself. The reason that's the most important one is because if you do not believe in yourself and what you do, if you don't believe in the things you say, if you're doing something and you just have that doubt in the back of your mind all the time, then all I can say is that it's just not gonna, you're not gonna be able to manifest the things you desire. You can put all the work in you want, but if you don't believe in yourself, people aren't gonna take you serious. It's like a sales job almost. I, did, I just mentioned this a few days ago on an Instagram video. Salespeople are good at what they do because they believe in the product they're selling. I'm sure you've all come across a shitty salesperson and you know what it's like. They don't believe in what they're selling, so you doubt what they're trying to sell you. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go over the five reasons again. Reason number one is habits. Prioritize your habits. Make sure that you get them unlocked. Write it down. Write down the things you know you need to be doing. Waking up early, uh, cutting back on caffeine, cutting back on smoking weed, drinking, whatever it is. Cutting back on hanging out with friends that are just aren't good for you. You know who those are. Reason number two, checking yourself and making sure you're spending time with people who push you to be the best version of yourself. I know we all like to just hang out with people and enjoy ourselves and you know have a good time and just drink and fuck around. You don't have to completely eliminate that, but all I can say is if you start distancing yourself from people who are just there for you for the shits and giggles and because you're this type of person to that type of person, you're gonna start noticing it. You're gonna start noticing these people think of you differently. They're gonna behave differently around you, etc. 
Reason number three, your environment. If you are not happy where you are, whether it's family, work, school, whatever it might be, do anything in your power to change that. I always tell people, if you're not happy with your work, try to find an alternative. Too many of us settle for whatever environment we're at that we're not happy at. At least in my experience, the money does not outweigh the way you feel about things, about your environment. I've definitely been at a successful barbershop before and I was not happy, I was not having it. I tried my best to convince myself, hey, I have a good job, I have money, like there's nothing to complain about or bitch about, but I wasn't happy. So if I can motivate you to leave a situation where you're not happy, then I definitely encourage you to do that. Reason number four, do more of what you love. Do more of what you love. Whether it's painting, riding a damn bike, going on hikes, hanging out with your friends, um, just do more of that, but check yourself, limit yourself, and make sure that you're still working, but not burning yourself out. The last one, believe in yourself. It comes with a lot of mental work. It comes with a lot of, uh, I guess you can call it meditating or just interrupting your negative thoughts. A lot of that mental work, it's not something you just switch on. I understand that. I've been through it myself. It's something I'm still working on, but you have to be confident. The only reason I'm standing here behind this camera preaching this to you is because I know that if it wasn't for those five things I'm telling all of you, I wouldn't be able to stand here and tell you these things. So yeah, go ahead and drop a comment, leave a like, subscribe, whatever you wanna do. Um, this is all just to benefit you. Hopefully it works for you. If it does, then I'd be happy to hear your testimonial. Anything you wanna share, go ahead. I think that's all the juice I got for you today. So with that being said, this is Serge the Main. I'll catch you on the next one. We out.